Hey y'all, welcome back to the cookie jar. Today we are doing the third recipe from the Peach Cobbler Murder. It is called Lisa's Wedding Cookie Cake. And it's one of two that are really, really similar. The second one we're doing next week is called Herb's Wedding Cookie Cake. And they're basically the same thing. They're just, this one uses chocolate pudding and graham crackers and Herb's uses vanilla pudding and chocolate wafers. But, so here is the recipe in the book. It's this page, these two pages, and this final page. So for a recipe that, that only has like four ingredients, it's a lot of work. And already it's had me doing math that I don't like because I had to figure out how much 10 cups to quartz that that whole mess is closed with gallon and the chocolate boxes were throwing me off because it says the one that makes two cups per package and that it was a big thing with the milk measurements no it took me a hot minute to realize that the, the measurements they're giving in the book is for per two packages it, it took a second but I, I got there eventually and they don't sell a pound box of graham crackers they sell like a 14 point six ounce box. So I ended up having to buy three boxes to get two pounds, which we don't even know if we use all that. And then it doesn't tell you how much whipped topping. I had to figure out what, like I have a hundred rolls in my kitchen, a hundred probably, no joke. And I had to figure out which one was four quarts. And of course it's the biggest bowl I probably own that I've never used because the thing is huge. And then I have a line of flash grab. That was an adventure. First time flash grab ever actually wants to stick to the bowl. This one I don't want it to. But anyway, yeah. So as you have probably guessed by the ingredients in this, it is not cooked or baked. Okay, so first thing it says, this cake must be refrigerated to set up. Make it the night before you plan to serve it. Jello does not set up. It is a pudding. Uh, I don't understand how this is going to make a cake. I, I don't. But we'll see. Eight small packages of chocolate pudding mix with a giant note. Read the yield on the pudding package. It should be two cups per package if you make it according to the package directions. You can use sugar-free, instant, regular instant, or the kind you have to cook. All will work. You can also use five larger packages of pudding, each package yielding three cups of pudding. If you do this, use two cups of milk or half and half for each package. As you can see, this recipe is very flexible. I don't like flexible in my recipes. I don't. I want so cut and dried. This, this, and this. All right. Ten cups, two and a half quarts whole milk, or half and half if you want to splurge. Two one-pound packages of graham crackers. Four-quart bowl. Sweetened whipped cream for frosting and topping. So the first thing it says is line the inside of your bowl with long strips of plastic wrap, leaving enough plastic wrap to fold back over the top and your cake is finished. And then you're, yeah. It, it, it has a note in the first part, because apparently you're taking the graham crackers and lining the inside of the bowl. Unlike a jigsaw puzzle, it doesn't matter if some pieces don't fit together exactly. You can break them in half or quarters if you want, but it's also okay just to overlap them. And then you're making the first two packages of pudding, two and a half cups of milk. And then you're gonna pour approximately a third of the pudding over the layer of graham crackers in your bowl. It doesn't have to be perfectly smooth, just not wildly uneven. Then you're adding another layer of graham crackers on top of the pudding in the bowl. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. The pudding will soak into the graham crackers and all will be given. And then you're putting in more pudding and spreading that out and then another layer of graham crackers, the rest of the pudding. And then you're adding another layer of graham crackers. Dude, I can't even keep this straight just reading it in the instructions. Like, what? And then I guess you're making another layer or another couple of batches of pudding and you're gonna layer all that until you've used all the packages. So you're making like four sets of pudding and layering it between the two cups of graham crackers. And then, Put on the rest of the pudding, smooth it, and this time cover it with a double layer of graham crackers. 
One of the things it says is don't bother to wash out the bowl of pan you used to make your pudding. You're going to make another batch. And then the next little note, I'll bet you're already guessing what the rest of the cake will be like. It wasn't that easy. If you don't bake, you make this cake. And then you're going to fold in the plastic wrap and you've got it all done. It says find a plate that will fit inside the bowl on top of the cake. Put it in right side up so that it'll push the cake down when it settles. Set a weight on top of the plate. I use a can of fruit and refrigerate it until it's time to serve. When you're ready to serve, remove the weight and the plate, peel back the plastic wrap, and center a serving plate platter right side up over the bowl of the top. Invert it, the bowl, lift it up, and peel it with the plastic wrap. So, yeah. Just like you when you take a cake out of the pan. Frost your cake with sweetened whipped cream. Hannah whips her own cream, but you can use the kind in the can if it's easier for you. And then you slice it as the cake as you would a pie in wedge-shaped pieces. Everyone will ooh and ah when you do. Pass it to ship sweet whipped cream for those who want more and enjoy. So, it, it's a lot of pudding and crackers and layers. They don't give you exact amounts. It's just like a third of this and then layers. And I think I'm going to be lost through a lot of this. It, it does not... In theory, it sounds simple. In execution, I think I am a little too neurotic to make this work. <laughs> but we will find out. And if we screw it up this week, we have another try next week with Herb's Wedding Cookie Cake. So, there is that. But I'm hoping they both turn out really well because I don't like wasting food. But, let's go. Here is everything we're gonna end up needing. We have the four quart plastic front bowl wrap. We have the Cool Whip in various amounts. I got two, because like I said, it doesn't say. Two pounds of the graham crackers, eight boxes of pudding, and 10 cups of milk. Let's go. First thing we're doing is covering the bottom of the graham crackers all the way out to the sides. So I guess it's literally just the bottom. We're not going up the sides like I originally thought. All right, so. Hold on, it says all the way out to the side, so. Um. Does that mean cover the sides? It says all the way out to, not all the way up. So I'm gonna say no. I'm just gonna kinda Break that one in half, and break that one in half, and we're just kind of going to go up the sides a little bit. And I will tell y'all that this was not easy, getting this plastic wrap in here. And even now, it's still not sticking to the bottom. It's sticking to itself, and it's trying to pop up, and it's, it's aggravating. We're going to call that good. This is what we have. It says make the first two packages of pudding mix. Here is two cups. I did not think this through at all. And we need a half. Look at this. Alright. Whiskey, 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 whiskey. Alright, because this is already thick enough to pour over top. Alright, you go over there, and you go over there, and you come back here. Try to get these things back where I had them because they are just kind of jumbled up all over the place. Pour approximately a third of the pudding over the layer of graham crackers. So we're gonna say that's third. Yes. Smooth it out. Which of course it does not want to do. A few minutes ago I said this sounded like a mess. Even though it sounded super simple, it wasn't going to be fun to do. I would like to say I was correct. This is not fun. We're gonna call that good. Next. Another way of graham crackers on top of putting the bowl. Mm -hmm. 
And this is where we are for half the remaining pudding on top of the next layer. And smooth it out. Lay down another layer of graham crackers and top it with the remaining pudding. I think I have an idea. I'm gonna line the outside. Yeah, we're gonna call it good. Okay. I hope this tastes amazing because this is complicated. This is the easiest complicated thing I felt I've done in a while. Is getting the graham crackers to stay where you put them and coat it in pudding. It's almost like the tiramisu where you gotta cover it with filling the lady fingers so that they absorb the stuff and get all mushy. But you don't unmold the tiramisu, I don't feel like. Use another two package of pudding and another two and a half cups of milk to make your second batch. And now we mix. There are more graham crackers to cover now since the bowl is wider. Use half of the pudding to cover graham crackers. Apparently I missed a layer of graham crackers. So. Okay. Now we've got our next layer of graham crackers. Use another two packages of pudding. And add another two and a half cups of da -da. Half the pudding. That's simple. I, I don't know what is with this recipe that I cannot keep track of where we are or what I'm doing, but I just can't. It's driving me nuts. All right, so we now have our next day of graham crackers, and then we got the rest of the pudding. And one layer of graham crackers. And that's where her, I bet you're guessing where the rest of the cake will be like. Comment comes in. At the moment, no, I'm not guessing what the rest of the cake is gonna be like. Confusing is my answer. And I'm running out of room in this four quart bowl. So, uh, interesting, interesting. Make the third batch to pudding. You know, I jokingly thought this was gonna be easy and quick to throw together. It has not been. All right, so again, we're using half. Crackers. And the last half of pudding we've just made. And I'm starting to try to push these down a little bit, so hopefully be able to fit this last box of pudding in here. But I think it's gonna be close. More time, make the final batch of pudding. Put half the pudding on the graham crackers, smooth it out, cover it with graham crackers. So we still have another two layers and I'm pretty much out of room in this bowl. And I'm running out of graham crackers. I don't know if I have enough, because I know the final layer is supposed to have two. There is not going to be enough for a final layer. I've got a sheet and a quarter left. All right. Spread half the pudding over the graham crackers, which is the rest of the pudding. Smooth it, and this time cover with a double layer of graham crackers, which clearly we have already demised. We do not have enough for. I'm going to have to go back and get the other half of that package out. And I get to the graham crackers and I was thinking about, should I just get three boxes and get exactly two pounds? Or should I just get the two boxes, which be like four ounces shy or something? And my husband talked me into getting bigger, all three boxes, because we'll use them for something or the kids can snack on them. They'll find a home. And I'm glad he did, clearly, because we are about two and a half sleeves already into this third box I wasn't going to get. 
So it definitely worked out making sure to have that other box. And I'm not sure exactly what the point is of adding a, another layer here is because they're not really going to fit in the bowl. And I used a four quart bowl. Oh, it wasn't that easy. No. Fold in the edges of plastic wrap to cover the contents of the bowl. Find a plate that will fit inside. Okay, we're going to go with that. Okay. Put it in right side up so that it will push the cake down as it settles. I guess we're going like this. This is right side up to me. But wouldn't it make more sense to put it this way? Yeah, we're going this way. I use a can of fruit. I don't know how much that's really going to help because that's not very heavy, but hey. And then put it in the refrigerator until the time to serve. That sounds good. But, see that. So it's been about three hours and I'm like, it doesn't say what you're looking for. It doesn't say how long it should actually sit. It just says to peel it back, put it on and invert it. Which this is super awkward <laughs> and super heavy. So I, I don't, oy vey. It is super heavy, and I'm not quite sure how necessary that second row of graham crackers on the bottom was, because it doesn't really seem like it did much, except be heavy. Messy? Because they didn't really meld in. There we go. It took one little eight ounce to get over on top. Now it says to cut this like a pie slice, which I'm sorry, this is giant. Even if you cut the thinnest slice, it is, it's going to be huge. So here is what we ended up with. Lots of layers of pudding and graham crackers and all that jazz. Which I mean, it kind of looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty cool. I am amazed it held together. I'm amazed it formed. Visually, the inside's pretty impressive. The outside with the whipped cream, which I definitely think it needs. Definitely do not skip the whipped cream. Um, you could throw something up there, sprinkles or something to jazz it up. But like even some chocolate curls, maybe. Like has a chocolate pudding. But um, yeah. It took a very long time to make all the pudding and make all the layers. I think it would have been faster just to make all 10 boxes of the pudding and then like scoop it into layers as you build it. 
I'm not quite sure how to box and do box. But overall, it was it took a while, but we got there. It's done. It, it's edible, it worked. But next week we are doing Herb's wedding cookie cake. And uh, we will hopefully it will come out just as good. I hope you love this. Have a good week. Bye guys.